In this video, we'll look at the basic structure of a standard master's thesis. A master's thesis should have five main chapters. Each chapter of a master's thesis will have a clear focus and objective. The five main chapters of a standard master's thesis are 1. Introduction 2. Review of literature 3. Method 4. Results and 5. Discussion Most of the time, the structure of the five chapters of a master's thesis will be the same whether you are conducting a quantitative or a qualitative study. Chapter 1 Introduction The first chapter of a master's thesis introduces the topic to the reader. The central objective of the first chapter of a master's thesis is to establish 1. the statement of the problem and 2. the research questions. In the first chapter of a master's thesis, you will simply justify to the readers why it's necessary to study your specific topic. Your topic will be based on a particular problem area of your interest. For example, if your master's degree is in psychology, your topic of interest might be evaluating the effectiveness of cognitive behavioral therapy among teenagers with eating disorders. It's important that you first provide your reader with a broader context of your chosen topic. This should be done before introducing the specific problem that you seek to explore in your thesis. Contextualizing your topic within a larger problem is essential. For example, when researching the topic of effectiveness of cognitive behavioral therapy among teenagers, teenagers with eating disorders, you would first discuss the prevalence of eating disorders among teenagers in your community. You would then support your claims with statistics drawn from local and national level. The main sections of the first chapter of a master's thesis include 1. Statement of the problem. This section provides information about the specific problem, two, background and need. This section provides background literature related to a specific problem. Three, Purpose of the study. This section includes the focus and goals of the study. And four, research questions. This section includes the questions a study will seek to answer. In the first chapter of a master's thesis, you are expected to support all your positions and claims using citations from empirical research studies, government data and reports, opinion papers, theories, and authoritative websites. The second chapter of a master's thesis introduces the research literature on a specific topic. The main objective of writing the second chapter is to identify the most relevant and significant research related to your topic. When writing the second chapter of your master's thesis, you are generally informing the reader of the critical studies that have previously been conducted related to your topic. This provides the reader with sufficient background information that they need to understand the problem related to the topic. The literature review chapter of a master's thesis also provides the justification of your study as you indicate the weaknesses and gaps in the existing research. Chapter 2 of your master's thesis will provide credibility to your study because this chapter will show that you have done sufficient reading and research for your topic and that your study is firmly grounded on previous research. Basically, in the literature review chapter of your master's thesis, you are showing your supervisor and other readers that your topic did not just come from thin air and was developed because there was a need to conduct a study to fill a specific research gap. The main components of the second chapter of a master's thesis include an introduction of the general problem and the order of discussion including the specific areas of research. For example, for a master's in psychology student who might be interested in evaluating the effectiveness of cognitive behavioral therapy among teenagers with eating disorders, the specific areas of research would include 1. Prevalence and causes of eating disorders, 2. Negative health outcomes associated with eating disorders, Disorders and three various psychological strategies used in treating eating disorders among teenagers. After introducing the related areas in the literature review section of your master's thesis, you will then locate and synthesize research articles supported by empirical data for each of the sections of the literature review. Each section of the literature review chapter should therefore begin with an introduction and end with a summary paragraph to recap the main points and limitations. The end of a literature review chapter should be a summary tying together all of the literature related to the topic. That chapter of a master's thesis is the methods chapter. This chapter explains the research methods and designs a researcher used to conduct a study. 
The main objective of the third chapter of a master's thesis is to provide a clear description of the actual procedures that were used to conduct the study. In the third chapter of a master's thesis, you will be informing the reader of how your study was conducted. You will therefore need to use detailed descriptions of every aspect of your study. The main components of the methods chapter of a master's thesis include 1. Setting. This is where the study took place. 2. Participants. These are the individuals who participated in your study and how they were selected. Did you rely on random sampling or did you select your participants through convenience sampling? All these questions should be answered in the participants section of your master's thesis. 3. Instructional or intervention materials. This includes instructional strategies or materials that were used in conducting a study. 4. Measurement instruments. This includes tools that were used to collect data. 5. Procedures. This includes a description of how you collected data or implemented the study. 6. Data analysis. This includes the qualitative or statistical techniques that were used to analyze your data. When writing the methods section of your master's thesis, it's important to provide sufficient details in a way that another researcher could effectively replicate your study. Chapter 4. Results. In this chapter, you report the results of your study. The main objective of writing the fourth chapter of your master's thesis is to present your findings from the data collection process in the third chapter. In the results chapter of your master's thesis, you are basically informing the reader of what you discovered. The results chapter of your master's thesis integrates numerical, narrative, and tabular presentation of the outcomes of the study depending on who whether you conducted a quantitative or qualitative study. In the fourth chapter of your master's thesis, you will report the results of the data analysis of each variable and measurement instrument that you discussed in the methods chapter. For example, if you conducted a qualitative study, you will provide a narrative description of your findings in relation to your research questions. This will involve answering your research questions without making any conclusions. The fifth and final chapter of of your master's thesis is the discussions chapter. In the fifth chapter of your master's thesis, you will discuss the results from the fourth chapter of your thesis and conclude your study. The main objective of the fifth chapter of your master's thesis is to discuss the findings in relation to the statement of the problem and the research questions you identified in the first chapter. The discussion chapter of your master's thesis will include 1. Significant findings, 2. Researchers interpretation based on the results, which is the section that is normally referred to as interpretation of findings. Three, discussion of the relationship of the study findings to previous research conducted in the literature. Four, study limitations. In the study limitations section, you will include the limitations and weaknesses of the study design and findings. And five, recommendations for future research. Here, you make recommendations for future areas of research related to the topic of concern. Six, conclusion. In this section, you will identify the critical conclusions you made about the results. These are the lessons you learned in your study and their implications to your specific discipline. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions related to your master's thesis, don't hesitate to write me an email and I'll put my address on the description below. Drop me a message and I'll be happy to help you in everything that you need.